start hello everyone good morning hello everyone good morning myself mohammad kamal my name is mohammad zaki and today we are here to discuss on uh, importance of it in environment so without wasting any further time let's hop into it um, so as you guys can see in the second slide that uh, we have index and content here uh, so first we would like to start with introduction then we have remote sensing and in remote sensing we have three more topics in it compounds of remote sensing system functions applications then we have geographical information system satellite data and world wide web so let's start with the third slide and we have introduction here uh, so basically introduction of our topic information technology means collection processing storage and uh, dissemination of information it plays a vital role in the field of environment education the internet facility facilities information through satellites ww and geographical information provides up to date information on various aspects of environment and weather it plays important role in fields of environmental education and human health as compared to that of the other respective areas such as business economics and culture or politics now let's go to the fourth slide where we have remote sensing so basically what is remote sensing it refers to any method which can be used to gather uh, information about an object without consuming in contact with it gravity magnetic electromagnetic forces could be used for remote sensing now remote sensing is used to donate identification of earth features by detecting the characteristics electromagnetic radiation it is used in numerous field uh, including geography land surveying and most earth science disciplines for example hydrology ecology meteorology oceanology glaciology geology now in fifth slide we have components of remote sensing system so what are the components of remote sensing sensing system we'll go on a study here in it so we have the first point here is the system consists of a sensor to collect radiation first we have the sensor so and in the other point uh, other important parts are platform an aircraft a balloon rocket and satellite uh, the information received by the sensor is suitably manipulated and transported back to the earth the data is reformed and processed on the ground to produce photographs computer compatible magnetic taps and digital scale medium now we have the diagram here in this sixth uh, slide where we can clearly see that sun is the main source of energy right and uh, the radiation of the sun hits the ground object it can be anything like tree uh, buildings and other things so from there the light uh, from there the light uh, goes to the satellite satellite where it collects the data and then it goes back to the ground station where uh, the data gets processed and uh, the expert interpreted the data and tell us about the conditions of the thing which are which we are studying on now let's hop into the seventh slide where we have the same thing which we said uh, here uh, in the diagram so but let's uh, uh, study here as well functions of remote sensing like as i said origin of electromagnetic energy transmission of energy from the source to the surface of the earth and interaction with the intervening atmosphere interaction of energy with the earth surface transmission of reflected or uh, emitted energy to the remote sensor on a suitable platform through intervening atmosphere transmission or recording of the sensor output collecting of ground truth and other information data analysis and interpretation now let's hop into the page slide where we have the diagram of uh, detecting earth by using remote sensing there are the various uh, cities where we can see that uh, it gets detected by remote sensing we have used remote sensing to detect the area of uh, uh, of these cities and uh, uh, places now let's hop into the ninth slide where we have applications in agriculture are to provide information about land water management use of seeds fertilizer input etc now we have forestry 
in forestry information on type density and extent of forest cover wood volume forest fire pest etc now we have land cover gives spatial information on land rs data is cover, converted to map water resources surface body mapping ground water targeting flood monitoring water quality monitoring irrigation water management now let's hop into the 10th slide where we have the diagram of showing how remote sensing works in water resources and agriculture as we can see that first uh, we have uh, first inform uh, we have sun here the main resource where it reflects the light and uh, goes to the satellite and hit the ground and then goes to the satellite where it gathers the information and uh, send it to send it back to the ground where scientists collect the data and uh, we get a clear idea of how we can make decisions on agriculture management etc and here are, here is the water resource as well so yeah now let's hop into the 11th slide where we have database so what is database basically it is the collection of interrelated data on various objects in the computer the information of database is arranged in a systematic manner okay now we have in the 12 point application so what uh, are the ministry which applies in these things uh, like ministry of environment and forest compile data on biotic communities diseases like hiv malaria and chlorosis national management information system nmis database on research and development projects research scientists etc environmental informative system database on pollution control area clean technology biodiversity remote sensing environment environmental management desertification etc so i would like to uh, call my teammate mohammad zaki to come and continue the talk thank you, you so much kamal okay so i'll start with the importance of it in environment uh, in information technology has tremendous potential in the field of environment education and uh, healthy as in any other field like uh, business economic economics politics or culture development of uh, internet facilities geographic information system and information through satellites has generated a wealth Uh, of up to date information uh, on various aspects on environmental and health okay database on environment system so database is the collection of interrelated data on various subjects it is uh, usually in computerized from uh, computerized form and can be retrieved whenever required in the computer the information of database uh, and can be very quickly retrieved the comprehensive database includes wildlife database conservation database forest cover database etc database is also available uh, for diseases like hiv aids malaria fluorosis etc and the next point is uh, national management information system nmis uh, of the department of science and technology has compiled a database on research and development projects along with the information about research scientist and personnel involved and we have our next point is environmental information system the ministry of environment and forests government of india has created an information system called environmental information system uh, with its headquarters in delhi it it, it functions in 25 25 different centers all over the country and we got the next point is a uh, remote sensing and geographical information system satellite imagery is provide us the actual information about various physical and biological resources and also to some extent about their state of degradation in a digital form through remote sensing satellite imagery is provide us actual information about various physical and biological resources and also to some extent about their stage of degradation in a digital form through remote sensing we are able to gather uh, digital information on environment aspects uh, like uh, water logging desertification deforestation urban sprawl river and canal network mineral and energy reserves and so on so let's move into next slide we have here geographical information system it is a technique of uh, superimposing various thematic maps using uh, digital data on a large number of uh, interrelated aspects 
GIS can use any information that includes location. Uh, uh, the location can be expressed in many different ways, such as latitude and longitude, address or zip code. Many different types of uh, information can be compared and contrasted using GIS. The system can include data about people such as population, income or education level. It can include information about the landscape such as the location of streams, different kinds of vegetation and different ki kinds of soil. It can include information about the sites of factories, farms and schools or storm drains, roads and electric power lines. You can also see the slides over there. Uh, the four slides. So let's move into our next topic, which is satellite data. Satellite data is understood as information about uh, uh, about Earth and other planets in the space gathered by man man made satellites uh, in their orbits. The most common use for satellite data is uh, Earth observation. Satellites deliver information about the surface of weather changes about surface and weather changes on the planet Earth. It also help in providing correct and reliable information forest cover, provide information about forecasting weather, smoke, ozone depletion, reserve oil, minerals, and can be discovered. You can see the diagram of the satellite on the sixth slide. Now let's move into a world wide web. The world wide web is commonly known as the web is an information system where documents and other web resources are identified by uniform uh, uniform resource locators, which may be interlinked by hypertext and are accessible over the internet. English scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web in 1989. He wrote the first web uh, in 1990 while employed, at, uh, um, uh, while employed at CERN near Geneva in Switzerland. More current data is available on World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is the primary tool billions use to interact on the internet. So I would like to put a in the end, I would like to put a quote here. The number of the number one benefit of information technology is that it empowers people to do what they want to do. It lets uh, uh, people do be to be creative. It lets people to be productive. It lets people to learn things they didn't uh, they didn't think they could uh, learn before and so on. In, in, in a sense, it is a it is all about potential. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening to us. Well, I thank like you. To, yeah, thank to you end it up. And uh, thank you. I would also like to give a quote here that it's not that we use technology. We, li we actually live technology. It's a quote by Scott Gray. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening to us. Thank you very much, Zaki.